It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brass Tax Brewing Company in Sweden and it's a bottle of their Blueberry Backbone. It's an Imperial Stout with blueberries and it's coming in at, let's have a look, 8% ABV. I like the label. I think blueberries will work in it in an imperial stout i think you'd have to use a lot of them to get a lot of flavor from them but uh, or some flavor white bottle cap but let's have a look let's see if we can get it thank you very much to martin for sending martin from sweden here we go look at that smoke on the opening still smoking look at that it's like a gun The reason why I think blueberries will work is I was in the neighbouring Norway last year, drove up into the mountains and there was blueberries growing everywhere. I, w I was there in July last year so there's blueberries everywhere. We're just stopping off and picking fresh blueberries just to eat and then driving on again. It was wonderful. So, and they were really kind of not your kind of supermarket blueberries. These were full of flavour, really full on lovely juicy berries. So Sweden being a, a, a similar climate, I imagine they've got the, a similar situation where there's a lot of fresh blueberries around to pick. Beer in the glass, got a nice two finger tan coloured head. Nice levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. It is more or less a jet black beer in the glass. But I, I, what I noticed straight away was the thick, gloopy pour and the dense head. This looks to, to be a lovely, big, thick, rich Russian Imperial stout, which we like here on the channel. Let's dive in. Cheers. Aroma. My goodness me, that smells wonderful. Lots and lots of roasted malt coming through. Chocolate, coffee, caramel, aromas. A little bit of tobacco smoke in there. Not really getting the blueberry, but perhaps that'll come through in the taste. Let's dive in, cheers. Yes! Oh! Nearly went over. Nearly went over. I've not been drinking, I promise you. That was the sensation of the beer. That was just that wonderful, wonderful, big, thick, creamy, dense, thick, liquid. Nicely carbonated. It's so rich, such a rich beer. The question you want to know is, is there blueberries in the flavor? Most definitely, most definitely. It's coming through more than a vinous quality that I talk about with Russian Imperial Stouts. I talk about fig and plum uh, flavors and, and vinous qualities, from maybe a red, a red berry in there. A red grape. This is definitely blueberry. It's kind of just stepped up a level. You get that acidic blueberry coming through. But what impresses me most is, again, when it comes to Imperial Stouts, Imperial Porters, the, the Scandinavians have got it nailed on a post. They just know how to brew it. First of all, how thick can you get this beer? How rich and dense can you get this beer? Um, and what gives it that lift so it's not too heavy is just a little bit of carbonation just to push the beer around the inside of the mouth. Wonderful, wonderful stuff then. Let's get the rest, see if we can get the rest of this beer. 
Look at that! Oh no! Tragedy. I didn't want to lose any of this beer. Sorry guys. That is just going to go everywhere. Wonderful, yeah? Wonderful stuff. Right. There's no English on the bottle. I'd like to, again, thank Martin for the beer. Han Brewery, Uppsala. Blueberry Backbone. Brass Tax Brewing Company. He dropped it. It's wet. If you see this beer out and about, my clear message is buy it. It's fantastic. Let's rate it. Looks good in the glass. Smells good. Tastes wonderful. It's only March 2017. But this beer with that lovely blueberry backbone could be one of the best. Russian Imperial Stout that I've had this year and we're only in March If you see it in Sweden go and try it if you see it anywhere else in the world Please go and try it. It's a fantastic beer. It's a 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer Please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up boom and cheers